Hi, it's June 1 and I passed my Linux Essential Certificate this morning. So I wanted to share some resources and my experience on how I passed the Linux certification. To give you a bit of context, I have been wanting to sit this certification exam since 2021. I did prepare for this exam in 2022. And finally in 2023, I sat the exam. I didn't go back and took the course again this year or revised through stuff because I felt comfortable sitting for this exam. And also it's a fundamental Linux exam. It's not too advanced. So that is uh, the motivation behind this certification. Uh, when I was in college, we had Linux fundamentals and advanced networking with Linux as a course in two semesters. And Linux Plus from CompTIA and Linux Essentials from LPI were some of the recommendations from our professors for Linux certifications to get. So since then, I have been wanting to, you know, uh, get a fundamental level Linux certification. Now, moving on to the resources that I used. So Jason Dion's Linux Essentials course is really good and it is available on Udemy, but it's also included in the LinkedIn Learning subscription. And I have got a good tip for you for LinkedIn Learning is that if you're in North America, and I'm not sure if, it, if this is true for Europe too, or other parts of the world, but if you're in North America and you have a public library membership, which I do, you can access LinkedIn Learning through your public library membership. And since Jason Dion's course is included with LinkedIn Learning, that's how I was able to take it for free. So there you go. That's the course recommendation that I have. Coming to my experience with Linux, as I said, it was there were two courses in my college diploma for computer networking. So I was very well versed with Linux and the command line as I graduated. And I also have three plus years of experience of working with Linux on day to day. So we had almost 50 servers that were running Linux in the cloud, um, different images. So we had Ubuntu and we had CentOS. I have experience working with the command line and the file system for three plus years uh, on a production kind of use case. So I think that really helped me, you know, clear this exam with much preparation. But if you are a beginner and you're looking to get more hands-on experience with Linux, I would highly recommend installing a Linux VM. It could be Ubuntu, it could be Kali, whatever your choice of distribution is. By using VirtualBox, Hyper-V, which is Windows virtualization tool or VMware player, I think it's called. So install a Linux distribution on your system and then start practicing, you know, getting used to that distribution, the command line and the file system. The other resources that I really found helpful during my college time and helped me understand Linux better is TryHackMe and LinuxJourney.com. So TryHackMe has three rooms that are available. Uh, I think they're called Linux Fundamentals 1, 2, 3. And that can give you more hands-on practice with challenges and tasks that you have to complete. Same thing is with linuxjourney.com. It gives you that initial introduction to the CLI on how Linux works, what are different important commands, and has kind of gamified the learning process. So those are the resource that I would recommend if you don't have much experience in Linux. And then if you want to take practice exams, I know a few other creators like Day, shout out Day. He has some great content on cybersecurity and cloud security and Linux. So go check it out. He recommended Jason Dion's practice exams. So I trust Day with his resources. So I'll say if you're looking for practice exams, go with that. I personally didn't go through any practice exams. That being said, if you're a beginner, you might want to test your knowledge out before sitting for the exam. And then I wanted to share my experience with this certification. So I took the exam at a nearest test center. Since last year, I moved to this apartment. I, had, I have a Pearson View test center that is one block away, around five minutes walk. So I have, an, I have stopped taking the exams at home because you know you have to only have one monitor and clean up the environment and stuff. So I just walked to the test center and that's where I gave my exam. You have almost 60 minutes 
to do the exam and there were 40 questions on the exam. It took me around 25 minutes to complete the exam. So I feel like 60 minutes for those 40 questions is ample of time. Also, if you want to know the score, I scored 650 out of the 800 and 500 is the passing score for this exam. But yeah, a pass is a pass, so I'll take it. And the exam itself costed $120 USD. And as I shared earlier, I wanted to originally sit this exam in 2021. I prepared for it in 2022, but didn't sit the exam. And then finally, I sat the exam now in 2023, but I'm glad I did. While I was preparing for this exam in 2022, I took some personal notes for this preparation and and those Linux notes have been used around in the community by different people who are going to send this exam. So, and that's another resource that you can check out. But yeah, overall, the experience was great. I highly recommend this certification if you are new to Linux and are beginning your either cloud or, you know, cloud security or cybersecurity journey because Linux is an essential tool. Most of the servers that you'll find in the cloud or on the web are Linux servers. So having Linux as a skill set is important. As for me, the future for Linux, I don't know if I want to set any other certifications, but do expect more videos on different commands that I find really helpful or Linux file system and what different directory does. So stay tuned. I hope you liked this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.